Beneath the endless blue, a nuclear submarine glides in silence, droplets of seawater sliding down its dark steel skin as the ocean hums around it. Inside, red lights pulse softly over focused faces, while a sonar ping echoes through the deep. The captain's hand grips the control lever steady and resolute as the vessel descends into darkness, swallowed by the sea. Within its core, the nuclear reactor glows with an eerie blue light, pulsing like a living heart. Machines hum and steam bursts from metal valves, painting the corridors in clouds of heat. A technician watches the rising data on his screen, tension reflecting in his eyes. The commander marks a flashing signal on the digital map, a red dot pulsing over the deep ocean grid. Suddenly, the sonar alarm blares, slicing through the silence and freezing every heartbeat. The submarine trembles, lights flicker, chaos spreading like a shockwave through steel veins. Crew members rush to battle stations, faces lit in crimson flashes as alarms roar. Outside, a thunderous underwater explosion tears through the darkness, clouds of bubbles swirling violently. Inside, pipes burst and water sprays across the deck while the hull groans under immense pressure. The captain shouts orders, his voice cutting through the noise with raw determination. Engineers twist heavy valves, sealing compartments with the clang of survival. The submarine stabilizes and a hush returns, broken only by a drop of sweat on cold steel. Gradually, the vessel rises, sunlight filtering through layers of dark water. The submarine breaks the surface, glowing under the first light of dawn. A naval flag unfurls above the waves, droplets scattering in the wind. Inside the captain looks at a small family photo, his reflection trembling softly in the glass. The ocean glows around them as the words, steel heart in a sea of fire, fade into silence.